Hey all, welcome to Shatrek. This is Raj here. Um, back again today with yet another video on CRISPR therapeutics and Bluebird. The focus is on upcoming Lovocell and Exacell uh, approvals towards the end of the year. Uh, this video will give you an idea of the potential CRISPR and Bluebird uh, and their share prices uh, have three years out. Uh, today we are talking about pricing potential. Let's get started. <music> First, let me set the background. ICER, which stands for the Institute for Clinical and Economic Review, plays a significant role in evaluating the value and cost effectiveness of medical treatments as well as interventions. Its primary objective is to provide evidence based assessments of clinical and economical impact of various healthcare interventions, uh, including medications, uh, procedures, and therapies. ICR conducts comprehensive reviews by analyzing available data, clinical trials, and real-world evidence to access the co comparative effectiveness, safety, and value of treatments. It considers factors such as clinical outcomes, uh, quality of life improvements, cost effectiveness, and uh, broader social societal uh, implications. It does all this because uh, pricing of a particular medicine is not a very straightforward thing, whereas the FDA, when they approve uh, therapies uh, and uh, uh, drugs, uh, they look at the f um, uh, look at whether uh, the new therapy which is being um, put up for approval uh, is uh, better than anything existing or at least it's equal to anything existing but that's just one dimension the other dimension is what is the cost of production and what is the margin we would like to have that's another dimension but apart from this there are a whole lot of uh, intricate um, uh, factors that one needs to consider uh, in order to make a decision on what could be a fair pricing for a drug or a therapy and whether uh, it should be supported and that's exactly what I think ICER tries to do uh, with its multifaceted uh, analysis. By conducting this assessment, ICER aims to inform healthcare decision makers, including policymakers, healthcare providers, insurers, and patients about the potential benefits, risks, and value of different healthcare interventions. ICR's evaluation often involves conducting economic analysis to determine the appropriate pricing of treatments, taking into account factors such as the cost of development, manufacturing, and the potential impact on healthcare systems and patients. The assessments performed by ICER help stakeholders make informed decisions regarding the allocation of healthcare resources, pricing negotiations, and coverage policies. The, opt uh, the organization also considers input from patients, clinicians, and other stakeholders through public meetings and soliciting public comments to ensure a broader perspective of their evaluations. Overall, ICR plays a critical role in evaluating the value and cost effectiveness of the healthcare interventions, aiming to guide decision making and promote a more transparent and evidence based approach to healthcare policy and practice. According to a recent uh, report by the ICER, uh, the gene editing based uh, uh, treatment called Exacel by Vertex and CRISPR. Uh, as well as the gene replacement therapy known as Lovocell by Bluebird Bio can be priced at up to 1.93 million in order to be considered cost effective. This pricing takes into account the discounted and rebated net prices of the drugs. The report was published on Wednesday, uh, that was last week. And uh, recently, Vertex and CRISPR announced the completion of their FDA applications for Exacel in the treatment of sickle cell disease and uh, beta thalassemia requesting priority review. If approved, Exacel would be the first uh, therapy based on the Nobel winning CRISPR technology. The pricing strategy for Bluebird as well as Vertex CRISPR's therapies is not immediately clear. A spokesman from uh, uh, Vertex mentioned that the uh, company is still reviewing the report and has not made a decision yet. Similarly, a spokesperson for Bluebird stated that they have not set a price for Lovocell and are currently focused on uh, completing their FDA applications. During an interview with uh, Fierce Pharma, Dr. David Rind, the chief medical officer of ICER, emphasized that the cost effectiveness analysis are preliminary and subject to change. ICER is currently gathering public comments and uh, uh, that will go on until May 9th and has postponed the final report's publication date to July 13 to allow for more data on Exacel. So May 9th is already over and July 13th is already uh, gone. So I think uh, by the time that I bring this video to you, uh, 
and they would have already had all this information we should be waiting for the next press release where we can get more information icr's cost assessment does not specifically consider the novelty of the crispr uh, crispr technology except for acknowledging some uncertainties regarding safety according to dr rain however he emphasized that uh, this should not diminish the tremendous uh, excitement surrounding the availability of both crispr therapy and traditional gene therapy for uh, treating a genetic disease uh, that has long been uh, looking for a cure according to icr's draft report exacel and lower cell should be considered in a similar manner due to their limited clinical data however the report also suggests that further research could potentially reveal distinctions between the two therapies uh, in the trial uh, for lower cell 90% of the 31 participants remained free of vasco occlusive events for a period of 6 to 18 months after a single infusion additionally 30 patients did not experience uh, severe crisis as for exacel only 7 patients had a follow up of 12 months and all of them were free from severe vasco occlusive uh, events according to data compiled by icer icer gave exacel a lower confidence rating when compared to standard care due to the smaller data set and limited experience with crispr technology but i'm i'm thinking that as more and more data accumulates uh, this uh, ranking should improve according to analysts uh, uh, at evercore isi the data pool for exacel has increased and uh, they estimate that vertex and crispr had been uh, had between 23 and uh, 23 to 31 patients with 12 months of data when they submitted their fda applications since both gene therapies offer the potential for cure icr compared them to standard uh, care over a lifetime in terms of cost effectiveness the health economics uh, reviewers determined that the two therapies could range in cost from 1 1.58 million dollars to 1.72 million dollars when considering only the benefits within the healthcare system however when taking into account broader societal value the cost range increases to 1.79 million uh, to uh, 1.93 million according to dr rind icer is providing an economic analysis to assist individuals in making their own judgments regarding value dr rind mentioned that due to the disproportionate impact of sickle cell disease on black uh, individuals some of icer's voting experts may propose considering a therapy to have good value Uh, within a higher range of cost effectiveness this consideration takes into account historical discrimination and inequities in the united states icr's calculations indicate that under an even higher potential threshold the drugs could be considered reasonably priced up to dollar 2.32 million gene therapies are uh, generally priced in the range of uh, multiple millions of dollars per treatment uh, generally because of the cost of producing them bluebird recently introduced zinteglo uh, related medication to lower cell priced at 2.8 million dollars and zinteglo has received approval for the treatment of uh, beta thalassemia rare uh, blood disorder uh, that's affecting approximately 1 in 100,000 individuals uh, bluebird uh, determines the pricing of its gene therapies based on factors such as positive clinical outcomes improvement in quality of life and the potential societal impact of enabling patients and their families to live fuller lives participate in meaningful work and reduce their reliance on healthcare system as uh, stated by the company spokesperson and this makes a lot of sense because uh, the uh, opportunity cost of not having a, th a therapy Uh, like zinteglo uh, should also be taken into consideration and that's what they are proposing here sickle cell disease is a more prevalent uh, disease affecting more than 100000 americans which translates to approximately one out of every 400 black individuals at birth according to vertex estimation the lifetime treatment cost for every uh, for severe scd patients can range uh, from around dollar uh, 4 million to dollar 6 million so now if we get back to the original objective of this video given icr's opinion on pricing it seems like crispr even with 40% of revenue share in exacel will still be making way more money than it does now uh, the closely behind uh, it and then closely behind it will be the tdt approval and after that we'll have vctx 210 getting approved again with the revenue share uh, uh, from uh, being shared between vertex and uh, crispr therapeutics but when we come to ctx 110 and ctx 130 both fully owned which will enter phase 2 clinical trials soon for bluebird all income from uh, ctx 110 and ctx 130 belong to uh, crispr therapeutics 
and uh, so that's going to be a game changer for them uh, suddenly so if you look at the next three years this is what i'm seeing out there for crispr in my opinion crispr therapeutics is surely not priced to its full potential at this point of time one could argue that there are risks as uh, approval is still six months away for the first therapy and a year away for subsequent approvals and anything can go wrong in between however on the other hand when compared to other genomic companies crispr therapeutics has plenty of cash in its balance sheet and also has a much broader pipeline with multiple alliances that tend to be uh, that tend to lend its strengths and uh, the milestone payments also help it and also uh, cost sharing with the partners uh, helps it manage the risk very well uh, now friends our channel has almost uh, 4000 subscribers and we are trying to become a center for genomic investment on youtube uh, what would help uh, is if you start sharing your opinions in the comment section please let me know what you think about my analysis about bluebird and um, uh, crispr therapeutics um, bluebird of course is going to have um, a lower cell getting approved but i focus more on uh, crispr therapeutics because they have got more than uh, one uh, approval in the pipeline in the next three years and uh, therefore I, I would like to receive your comments in the comment section that also helps the youtube algorithm when there's a lot of community interaction in the youtube channel and also if you have any good insights i would be happy to have you as a guest on the show let us have greater interaction in the community and this is your channel as much as it is mine and uh, with that said we are just short of uh, 4000 subs so please subscribe if you have not already done so send our link to your friends and ask them to subscribe and get us to 4000 so with that said i would like to end this video here i hope uh, you like this video and i hope you have a great weekend thanks and have a great day bye for now i'll catch up with you in the next video